hello and welcome to my channel for those of you who don't know me I'm Steph and today we are going to be trying out the chromatic palette from Rose Company Cosmetics firstly I love this packaging and Nuz face on the front there absolutely gorgeous and inside you have 12 duochrome shades beautiful the names i believe are song names from nas does say here that palette was inspired by the legendary lyricist nas i actually know who that is just saying not that old yet <laughs> and uh, if you are living in the us there is free domestic shipping the chromatic palette retails for 49.99 that's us dollars so the brand's cruelty free and vegan the brand owner, Mandy, oh my word, she is just one of the most lovely people. I got chatting to her, we chatted snakes a bit, and uh, she's uh, she's been a performing hip-hop artist for the best part of a decade, which I just think is amazing, just amazing. She started writing the rhymes when she was really, really young, and... I love that. I love that so much. And she is so nice to talk to. Um, and she has the most amazing kind of tattoo on her throat. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, uh, yeah, do head on over to her Instagram, which I will link along with the brand's website. Go check her out. She is wonderful. So if you want to see how I created this look, swatches of this beautiful palette and here my first impressions my thoughts then just keep on watching so the first thing i'm going to do is swatch her because i have been dying to ever since she arrived so how i'm going to do it is left to right first row second row and then third row so the first shade is called queen's bridge and she looks Oh, oh, this is pretty. It's like a red, orange, green. I don't know how well you can see all the shifting there. Wow. Okay. And then we have 27 Summers. This one's a bit more of a kind of sticky consistency. Look at that. So that's more of a kind of a golden to orangey copper shade. And then the next is Brave Hearted. And put that right next to her there. And look at that. So this one is more, it's got pink, orange beautiful and then the last in the first row is rule the world and this is rule the world well, this is a really strong kind of pink orange i can't even see what the colors are. it looks like there's like a shift of three but yeah beautiful so second row oh you can see the shift as i'm swatching this this is peace to all oh okay this is absolutely stunning i would definitely say this is more of a topper shade it does seem to To, uh, but yeah, you can definitely see it. Definitely see it. Maybe over a black base that would really pop. Yeah, beautiful. And then we have cherry wine. And this looks to be another one, the same kind of clear base. Look at that. Beautiful. That's got like yellow, pink. The one below is more like a green pink. They're beautiful. And then we have 
Money Over Us and she looks like this is another one of these kind of real soft beautiful Ooh, what is this is this like blue green to pink absolutely beautiful okay and then the last in the second row is represent and Ooh. hair on my arm dog hair sorry <laughs> Um, oh, this one looks like blue to purple. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Right, and now we're on the last row. This one I've been dying to see. This is Thug's Mansion, and oh, definitely got green, purple, pink. that these are beautiful absolutely beautiful and then we have patience and patience is oh oh what color shift are you it's definitely like a like an indigo to blue kind of hmm oh I like that so yeah there's yeah there's patience beautiful hoping you can see the shifts in all of these and then we have shine on them and this is another one I've been dying to try oh oh this is so pretty so this is like a green like a lime green kind of or is it more of an apple green i'm not very good at describing colors but oh my word look at that you can see for yourself kind of like a burnt orange to green that is beautiful and then the last shade we have is Oluvara? I think it's Olu Oluvara. But yes, anyways. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So this has definitely got pink to orange. Ooh. Okay. So yeah, that is Oluvara, I want to say. So yep, this is all of them swatched out. Don't know how to do it so you can best see. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna nip off, wash these off, stick some eye primer on, cool down a bit, it's so hot here. So hot, I'm, I don't cope with the heat very well at all. I'm sweating buckets. So I'm gonna sort myself out and then I will come back to do the eye look with you. I will more than likely chuck on some mattes um, because obviously there's no mattes in here. So once I've decided what I'm gonna do, I'll pop the mattes on and then we will go in with some of these beauties. So yes, if you want to see that look, then keep watching. Okay, so I've done the mattes I use Lethal Cosmetics Night Call and also from Lethal Cosmetics Altitude and the first shade I'm going in with is Patience this one here I'm going to try on a brush first just to see if I can do it with a brush you know, I want this for the very outside oh yes that's pretty So the answer is yes, does pick up on a brush, look at that, that's beautiful, and then just do the same the other side, oh, 
been so dying to try these. It is unreal. Obviously I've seen kind of swatches of them over on uh, Rose Company Cosmetics Instagram. But oh, there's something something special about kind of I don't know, seeing them for yourself in real life. Um so the main part of my lid I want to use shine on them. I I have to use this. This is just absolutely stunning. This one seems to pick up even better on a brush. So I'm just going to stamp that all over. Oh wow. Did get a bit of spark underneath, but never mind. I did take quite a lot on the brush that first time. Oh, this is so pretty. can see the shift I hope you can see the shift because it is so beautiful I haven't put any glitter glue on or anything glitter glue glitter primer it's just this is just them doing their thing um I've got a bit of P Louise base on my lid still probably but that is it look at that I'm just dragging it into purple a bit. Patience. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Is it definitely special? I'm pretty sure there is a slightly updated version of this um, that I don't have. I've got the original version um, and I think a couple of the shades were switched out. But I'm pretty happy with this how it is so I am not complaining. This shade is particularly special look at that you see all the shifts in it that is super stunning super stunning so for the inner corner i am going to pop on a bit of the nyx glitter primer so i want to make sure that really stands out especially as i'm going to be using one of the uh, more toppery shades so which one do I want to go in with? Right, so just popping a little bit of NYX Glitter Primer kind of in and around there. Not using much at all, just, just enough to uh, hold it on. And with the same brush, I'm gonna go into money over us money over us money over bs i think yeah i think that's money over bs it's just i haven't got my glasses on and <laughs> i don't really it's a, a funny font all right so let's Ooh. okay this is beautiful absolutely beautiful stunning so for brow bone highlight i want to use thug's mansion which is this one here and because yeah, obviously there is no primer at all. Ooh. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, look at that. Yes, I like this a lot.
that is so beautiful and just because I just want to try another shade I am going to take rule the world and I am going to use the brush that I used for my inner corner I think this is the one that seemed a little bit um, sticky anyway I just want to pop that under the eye there yes okay I love this one too <laughs> I don't think it was ever really a, a matter of am I going to love them the duochromes and I love me a duochrome there's a couple of these I would say are more multi-chrome than duochrome but they are not described as such they're described as duochromes they are stunning absolutely stunning okay so I am super happy with how this is looking I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and then I will come back and we'll have a chat about the chromatic palette. So uh, don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. Um, everything else I've popped on my face will be listed in the description box below for you to check out, should you wish to. Now on to the chromatic palette from rose company cosmetics i don't know if you can see if it's showing there's actually i believe that's nars's face yeah i think you can yeah it's very arty see obviously uh the buildings and lights in the background beautiful and obviously the word chromatic you can see it's in uh or kind of changing from purple to green I like it and these are obviously the shades so you can't really see the shift in them just by looking at the palette you can get a little bit of an idea with some of them but no you definitely need to uh, swatch them out to see kind of what colors what colors they are there's some extremely special shades amongst this, I will say. This one in particular, this is my absolute favourite in this palette. As you can see, I've plastered it all over my eye. All over my eye? All over my eyelids? There you go. Um, this is absolutely stunning. And unlike anything I have in my collection, as are quite a few of these actually, um, middle row I would say are more topper shades um, so they would work with either a coloured shadow underneath a coloured base um, I'm definitely going to be trying them out like that I'm so in love with this palette if you are someone that doesn't mind bringing in like either another palette or some single shadows you know whatever then this is absolutely perfect i i love it i am so excited to play with it again just so excited i i'm in love with this completely and utterly in love with it that's about it from me for today if you've liked this video please do give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you're new around here then I hope you'll consider sticking around I do a lot of really colorful looks I'm a lover of all things makeup I just like to play with color and I'm also a huge supporter of indie brands so if that sounds like something you're interested in then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that YouTube informs you next time I upload so thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.